hello guys big up the subscribers anyway like comment subscribe we're on 78 we're on the road to 100 i'm gonna just talk about quickly what happened there i do not know what happened there chaps in fact i do not happen there there has been a little bit of complacency creeping in amongst the boys and that happens with success we must we've got to keep humble but we're going to get into it before the level we was playing at would say we would win more games than we would lose playing like that now even though we're winning i would say we'd lose more games than we win it's so strange football sometimes and it's not through the numbers the numbers are fine like possession wise and and stuff like that it's the cutting edge it's the attitude when you go up or getting a you know that killer drive to get the goal it's just too calm and collective and there's been a real dip in in in, in form since the Boda game in Norway where we went over to a plastic pitch and I believe that the levels just dropped like a few players were scared to get injured and we haven't rediscovered that high level that we played and recently we've been happy with scoring one goal one goal and one goal and you know Southampton same tonight it just wasn't no cutting edge but there was a few poor performances we have to take have to say I mean we saw Mikko Arteta say that he's used to what well, Pep taught him how to win every three games. But let's not forget Pep has 22 world class players. You know, we have to be humble. We have to be humble. You know, we have to play out of our skin every single game. And players can't make mistakes. You know, um, we've seen some big drop offs in performances. Uh, let's start with Martin Odegaard today. I didn't he's unrecognizable not just today recently I've been seeing Martin Odegaard he's such a class player but his level has dropped recently we have to say like he's not doing those dazzling his dazzling feet you know that's what I like about him he keeps the ball he manipulates the ball well he did you know recently like he's simple passes he's giving away the ball just very sloppy with decision making not the level that you expect of Martin Odegaard you know and then we're now, you know, you're making mistakes by having to chase back. It just, Odegaard's the orchestrator. We just need him to get back to that level of class, that class player that we know he is. That's what we need back from Martin Odegaard. And the level, my goodness, he needs to find that level back because some of the passing he gives away, he's better than that. He's better than that, 10 times better than that. And he's our captain. So now we've got to see what he's about. What is he about? Is he going to step up? Or is he just going to allow, um, you know, this perform these poor, tepid performances to continue, you know? And today we saw um, how important Ben White's been for us. We've seen Tommy come in there. I see, I see it, um, Simmons, who was phenomenal, by the way, played the ball to Gapco inside Ben White and, to and inside Tori Tommy and Saliba to Gapco and, I, and I'm thinking nah, this would have happened with Ben White so we need to build that relationship there but there was some real 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 strange performances like Saliba like he's another oozing class player you trust him he's on the ball pure confidence second nature just a natural baller in it but even today I think he's I don't know if it's I don't want to give them an excuse or tiredness I just think it's just players being a bit complacent and so not doing the basics right you know, and need to get back to just doing the simple things right and build on build back your confidence up from there and that's what I want to see from this squad you know um, we saw what Rob Holden did and this is why I mean I talk to a lot of people I speak to my cousin and um, they and then I speak to a few others uh, people like Bonnie or Bobby um, they'll tell me that Hold, Holden and Anani are good for the squad they tell me they're good for the squad because they're calm and they don't mind being on the bench. But you know what? I'm, I'm done. I said to them, I'm done with it, man. I don't care if you're calm or being on the bench. Like if you're not good enough, I know it eases up the squad and you're coming to do a job, and that can fresh through players. But my goodness, my goodness, man, Rob Holden, what is he doing? Like every season, he'll do something stupid like that, something you don't expect from a player of his experience. You know, last season it was the Tottenham game. He gets himself sent off. He could have got us. He could have won a red card for us. He doesn't. He get. He tries to throw the man off. Got like, where's the football IQ today? He does some foolishness trying to go around on the wrong side. It's like, what are you doing, Rob? What are you doing? And this is why I just say, look, let's be better. We have some hungry young players that are, you know, that understand the game better. 
and uh, but are willing to learn and apply their trade you know same with on i'm not he wasn't here to defend himself so i'm not going to speak on him too much but you know we need players that are you know of the next level ready to like fight you know what i mean but yeah um yeah Vieira been put out wide did exactly what i expected him to do nothing i don't understand what it wasn't a great surprise to see the performance he put in it wasn't a great surprise this is the performance he put in against the reserves he is not a right winger chaps he's not a right winger he's a number 10 He's a number 10, but he looks very lightweight. I must say that I'm happy to hear he's going to the gym. It's going to take a few months for him to build up, but he has to get stronger because he is very, very lightweight. I can see a lot of quality. A lot is like his first touch. I'm not questioning and I'm not questioning his vision, but he is very lightweight and he needs to just bulk up a little bit, get, you know, a lot of protein, good strength program, build up that strength. Yeah. Get him on the program, mate. That's what I'd say. Um, I'm not going to say anything bad about Martinelli. We know he should be scoring some of these goals, but he has played phenomenal all season. And he sometimes he surprises me with his like how much legs he has and how many games he plays. I mean, I am not going to say nothing bad about Martinelli. Like he didn't play well today, granted, but he's playing a lot of minutes. And this is where we could have done with like players like Smith Rowe, giving certain players a breather. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, the things I've learned today, don't you ever play Vieira out on the right again. Where Reese Nelson would have been a better choice to come in. He must think, be thinking to himself, no, I need to leave Arsenal now, this is it. Because he's shown last year what he can do. And now he needs to get, he can't just treat him like that. And I don't think Vieira's a right winger, so we got what we deserve. And lastly, let Eddie and Katie, he's getting it on Twitter. And you have to say, he has to get it. Like I was, I'm not. I like Eddie and Ketia, but when you go for them big contracts, 100k a week, and you don't put in them perform 100k performances a week, you're there to get criticised, and you have to put in them performances. Like you don't can't. And it's only one game. Players have bad games all the, every year. Big players have bad games. Loads of players have bad bad games, but you've got to take your chance, mate. And the thing, what I was shouting at the TV is right. I saw that his his touches were so loose. I was screaming at the TV, right, just focus on just doing the basics. Get what good touch, play off. It's just doing the simple things well. Like, don't put too much pressure on yourself scoring every single game. Just do the basics well, and the goals will come. Make the right runs. Do the right touches. Take your chances when you're in the box. Don't snatch it. it relax. But play. You've got to play 100k per player a week. You gotta produce. I'm not gonna say nothing about the shirt number because you you right to take that shirt number. But you playing for Arsenal now. This isn't. You're not playing for, I don't know. You're not playing for a smaller club where you can put in a performance one week. Then you can't. You gotta show up. You you gotta show up. This is a big club you're at. So um, still believe in you. Great end to last season. You gotta find that level. Even if you don't score, you gotta put a performance in. You have to put a performance in. You have to be strong. You have to, you know, look what Jesus is doing. Even though when we're not playing the well, he's, he's everywhere. But with Jesus as well, I just need him to press from the front. I need him to get getting back to basics. Don't worry about coming in defence and doing everyone else's job. Stick to your job up top. Close their, their defenders. Give them no more time to rush on the ball. I don't want to see you chasing back from midfielders and doing all of this. Stay up front, mate. Stay up front and do all of your work up there, mate. And then when you get your chance, take it. But right, chaps, that's it for today, mate. We go on to Nottingham Forest. That's the next big one. Let's see what happens up there. But today, it wasn't our day. Bad day at the office. If we're going to lose a game, has to be that one. The disadvantage of that now is we've got to play. We have to win against Zurich. We have to win. Whereas Chelsea now, they can rest players for the whole week for our game. So they can come steamroll us so we just got to be ready we got to be we got to be on it man i say against zurich we still rotate we still rotate i mean lokonga mate but anyway we got we got to rotate and you know come again come again forest next let's not look past them let's take one game at a time to focus all on forest i want to see the strong guns strong 11 out against forest and then we have to get a result there. Just have to play well. Have to go for two, three goals. 
have to one guy at a time just plug away make the chance make the chance make the chance make the chance take the chance take the chance and then we go again but anyway guys that's me for today like comment subscribe one more to 98 i'm out